quickly let's not talk about the leg region the leg region lies between the knee and the what and the ankle region between the knee and the ankle region is what we call the leg region the leg region consists of two long bones are you with me the two long bones are what we call your word number one the thick medial bone which is called the words the tibia and this is the tibia and what we call the narrow lateral bone called the word the fibula so the fibula is narrow taking the fibula is also called your peroneal bone so most time you get things like peroneal bone or your peroneal nerve Either you say fibula nerve or you say your word peroneal nerve. So take note that fibula is also called what peroneal. I would have written that, but let's because of time. Take note that fibula is also called peroneal and your tibia. Which of them is medial? Tibia. Which of them is lateral? Fibula. You understand what we call? By now you should know what we call your medial and your word lateral. Close to the midline is called medial. Far away from the midline is called your word your lateral. Now take note that at the prominence. At the posterior aspect of the leg, there's a prominence, a thick line marking. That is what we call your what? Your calf. Your calf is formed by what we call your tricep surrey. What are your tricep surrey? I call them the GPS. We're going to talk about that when we get there, the GPS. What are the GPS? The gastrolimus muscle, the popliteus muscle, and the solis muscle. They form a tricep surrey, which we call what? Calf. As you, have you seen grab people check posterior aspect of their leg? you see these grab markings. The grab markings is at the posterior aspect of the leg. The posterior aspect of the leg is called the calf, which is formed by your tricep surrey. I told you why they call it tricep surrey. It is three muscles that form that. The triceps. What are the triceps? The gastrocnemius muscle, the popliteus muscle, and the solis muscle. We're going to talk about that when we get to the word leg. Take note that posterior aspect of the thigh is called the word hamstring, but posterior aspect of the leg is called your word your calf. Please take note of that word. Please. Take note of that because you are going to damage your the MCQs. Are you with me? You become a bado in what in anatomy. Quickly, let's move about that. Now let's not talk about the word the ankle or you want to call the talocura what region. I told you that the ankle is also called the talocura region. It is the region between the leg and the what and the foot. It consists of number one. It consists of the what the malolia of the what of the tibia and the word fibula. Either you say malula or you say the word malula means what plural. So we are a singular is what malulus. So it has the malleolus of the word of the tibia and malleolus of the word of the fibula. And number two, it consists of the word of the talus. Now, let me give you a mental picture. You can see your tibia. You can see your word fibula. You can see the medial malleolus. You can see the lateral malleolus. Now, take note that the tibia and the fibula is sitting on the bone, which is a bone of the foot called the word the talus bone. Are you seeing that? That was why we said the ankle region is formed by the malleolus. That's malolus is singular, but the malolia of the tibia and of the word of the fibula, as well as the word of the talus bone. Now, let me give you a mental picture to prove that. You can see that this one you see here, is, this is what we call the word the talus bone. Please note that that's the word the talus bone. Take note, these joints are sitting there, two bones of the leg are sitting on the word on the talus. We're going to talk about the bones of the leg i'm going to give you a lot of bad cut but please take note about that what forms the ankle region the malaria of the tibia and that of the fibula as well as the word as the talus quickly take note let's now go to the last aspect which is the last region which is the foot the foot is the distal part of the leg we take note that we say prosima means close while distal means far so the distal part of the lower limb is called the word the foot and it consists of three things number one we are going to call the word the seven tassa bones are you with me? It consists of what tarsal bones. Why? Remember, for upper limbs, we have eight. Eight, which is we have your eight kappa bone. But lower limb, we have to your seven what tarsal bones. And five meta tarsals. For lower limb, we have five meta kappas. Are you seeing it? And number three, we have to call the word the 14 phalanges. I'm going to give you a mental picture. When I get to foot, I will destroy all these things. But just know that we have your seven tarsal bones, we have your five meta tarsals, and we have your 14 word phalanges. Now, let me give you a mental picture. You can see the legs, right? You can first of all see the bony, the, the body anatomy. You can see the bony now. You can see this part. It's what we call the word the talus. This is the talus. This is the metatarsus, and these are the word phalanges. Take note that we have seven tarsal bone, five metatarsus, and fourteen phalanges. And if you add that very well, I'm going to give you an assignment. If you add that, how many bones are we going to have? That should give you a total of who can guess? That's twenty-six bones. But in the hand, we have twenty-seven bones. By back question, they can ask you. Hand has twenty-seven. But foot has 26 bones. We're going to calculate that. If you calculate 5, 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 
plus 14 is what 26 and now you can also see that these are the phalanges these are the metatarsals and these are the what the tarsals but now if you say you understand that please take note that in the foot we have what we call the superior surface of the foot is called the dosum of the foot why the inferior surface of the foot is called the sole of the foot are you with me now let me give you a mental picture this is it you can see on top of the foot which is called the superior surface is called the word the dosum of the foot why the beneath which is inferior of the foot is called the what the sole of the foot understand the difference between the dosum of the foot and the what the sole of the foot just the way we have the your palm and the dosum of your what of your hand well that's for upper limb now quickly in this class as we wrap up, let us list the joints of the word lower limb. What are the joints of the lower limb? Number one, we have to call the word the sacroiliac joint. The sacroiliac joint is the joint which is found in the gluteal region, which is the bony pelvis. What does it do? It connect, gets to what? It connects the sacrum and the iliac. That's why it's called sacroiliac joint. I've shown you where the sacrum is. The sacrum is part of the vertebrae right where the ilium is the first part of the world of the hip bone remember that the hip bone have what to call the ilium the ischium and the word pubis so the joint connecting the sacrum and the helium is what to call the word sacroiliac joint it is found in the gluteal region the second is what to call the word the hip joint the hip joint is where the head of the femur fits into the acetabulum of the hip bone and take note that Custom past question. The part of fracture of the hip bone is the femur. And what part of the femur? The head of the femur. The head of the femur, femur is the commonest site for what for fracture. In the MCQ part, you're going to see that. And when I take the past question, you're going to see that. The next joint of the lower limb is so to call the word the knee joint. I, I told you the knee joint, right? The knee joint is formed by the distal part of the femur and the proximal part of the word of the tibia as well as the what the patella what bone which is called the largest sesamoid bone and this that place has a large cavity you can see that cavity there and that and that's where another dislocation can occur this situation is common in the what in the knee joint why because of the large knee cavity we want to talk about that subsequent time are you with me now there's some that joint there can you spot on that joint there that joint is called your what your proxima your tibial fibula joint tibial fibula, fibula joint are divided into two the one that is proxima and the one that is what this time you can see that the tibia and the fibula they communicate they touch a joint is from where two or more bones meet so that one that is up is called the word this one is what we call the word your proximal tibial fibular joint and the one down is called the word the distal tibial fibular word joint there's also another joint there can you guess that joint it is called the words the ankle joint we said the ankle joint is formed by the word by the myelolia of the tibia and the word the fibula that's the lateral myelolia the medial myelolia and the talus bone remember we'll talk about that that's what formed the word the ankle joint the last is what we call your word the joint of the foot now let's settle down and explain the joint of the foot because the foot here is plenty remember that we are able to call the foot has three parts abi we have what to call where we have the tarsal bone we have the metatarsal bones and we have the what the phalanges now this first part is what we call the phalanges this first part is called the phalanges and that first part you can see that the joint there is called the what the interphalangeal joint these are these two joints the interphalangeal joint are not divided into two the distal and the word the proximal the distal means the one that are far the proximal means the one that are what close so within the tassa the phal phalanges we have the word the phalangeal joint which are divided into your what interphalangeal joints that's your distal interphalangeal joint and your proximal you can see that the proximal are close while the distal are far apart this you can see from the label these are the distals and these are the what the proxima so within the phalanges we have two joints abi the, the phalanges joint are called the phalangeal joint they're divided into two the distal and the what the proxima now what is now connecting the phalanges and the metatarsal that joint is called your word metatarsophalangeal joint the metatarsal phalangeal joint is connecting the word the tarsals we call this the, we call sorry we call this the phalanges we call this the metatarsals and this last part we call it the word the tarsals so within the phalanges we have the interphalangeal joint this is by the little two the distal interphalangeal joint and the proxima interphalangeal joint why what is connecting the phalangia the phalanges to the word to the tarsals 
we call it the word the metatarsal phalangeal joint. Metatarsal phalangeal joint. Are you with me? And now, what is now connecting the tarsus to the phalanges? What do we call it? It's called the word. You can see it here. It is called the tarsal, the tarsal metatarsal joint. What do I call it? The tarsal metatarsal joint. And we also have other joints. We have the navicular coniform joint, the talo navicular joint, the cubodo navicular joint, and the calcaneus navicular joint, and as well as it was the subtalar joint. Leave all those one. We're going to talk about those and we'll get about food. But the three joints I want you to know there is what we call the interphalangeal joint, the metatarsophalangeal joint, and the tarsal metatarsal joint. I'll take that again. Your interphalangeal joint, which is divided into two, your distal, your proxima. Well, what is now connecting the phalanges and the tarsal is called your metatarsal phalangeal joint. And what is now connecting the metatarsal and the tarsal is called the word the tarsal metatarsal joint. Do you understand that? That is everything about joint. Quickly, as we wrap up the class, let's talk about the golden point. What are the golden points? There are six golden points to hold in this class. Six golden point the first one is the largest bone in the body is the femur take note what's the largest bone the femur what's the largest bone the femur number two the largest sesamoid bone we said it is the word patella largest sesamoid bone patella number three what is the point of fracture the commonest point of fracture in the world take note that it is the neck of the femur the neck of the world of the femur it is the largest it is common is the, the common commonest fracture word point number four the posterior aspect of the thigh, we said it's called the what? The arm. Abi? Posterior aspect of the back of the thigh is called the arm. Why the posterior depression at the knee joint is called the what? Popliteal fossa. For hand, it is called cubital fossa. But for the for the knee joint, it's called your what? Your popliteal word fossa. Why the posterior aspect of the leg is called your what? Your calf. Don't forget, arm, popliteal fossa, and calf. Know where they belong. That is everything about this class. I'll see you in the next class. Go over the or go over the video, watch it over and over and over. If there's any question, drop your question. I hope you enjoy the class. Join the first class gang. See you in the next class.